wrist locks suck. Now there's a couple of ways to interpret that. One way could be thinking they don't work. And certainly there's good reason to think that because there's no shortage of videos of improbable wrist lock techniques being demoed in unrealistic ways. But for a great number of you who already know the term wrist lock sucks, probably means they're horrible. Horrifically painful techniques to get caught in. Wrist locks suck. A few months ago, a wrist lock expert visited my home dojo and showed me some ultra painful techniques, how to apply them in live roles, how to bait them, and how to know when the window of opportunity has passed. Most importantly, he taught us how to train it safely. His name is Renshi Scott Taylor, and he's actually pulled off multiple wrist lock submissions in jujitsu competitions. Now they're not always legal and there's a good reason for that. Wrist lock submissions suck and they can cause a lot of damage. Here's a quick look. So, That's like a reverse Z lock with a shitload of leverage. Yo, I have to feel that. Do you mind yeah, holding this for a second? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that looks so desperate. Well, Jay, you can see it. <laughs> no, that's not fun, bro. So, when they get up here, eh? You, you, you weigh way more from down here. Here? Yes, sir. Oh my god! There it is. Oh, okay, keep going, keep going. I'll regulate it. Oh my god, okay. Holy, it hurts everywhere. <laughs> That's like a spiral. Yeah, or, yeah. or I got this. Or I got this. Oh, <laughs> Holy! It feels like my this whole area is gonna, gonna explode. Implode. Die! Okay, okay. All right. What else you got? Oh, oh stop! Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. How? Ah! Oh Jesus! That's even worse. Yeah. I. Oh shit! Now, for the same reason, leg locks and foot locks have been shunned by the community for decades. Wrist locks are experiencing the same that's so cheap and dishonorable reputation. But hopefully, like coach John Danaher has illuminated for leg and foot locks, these often neglected areas of grappling can become opportunities for an entirely fresh field of study. So in this video, I will share with you two full wrist lock tutorial videos from a 16 part series with Renshi Scott Taylor. The full series includes five locks from close guard, five locks from side control, three locks from inside control, three locks from back mount, and two locks from scarf hold. And if you're interested in getting the full series, I will leave instructions in the video description below with how you can access it and own it forever. Hello guys, I'm Renchi Scott Taylor. Gonna to be showing some uh, wrist locks from a few different positions. Uh, this is how you lose friends. <laughs> so first position, closed guard. So Sensei Nick here, I got him in my closed guard. If he's putting his hands on my hips, he's trying to hold me down here. Yep, doesn't want me to lift my hips. All I'm gonna do is reach in here, grab here, pull his elbow up, and I'm just gonna lift my hip and push his hand down. Let's see what's happening to his uh, wrist there. So, he's pushing my hips down, doesn't want me to lift him. I'm gonna reach up through this hole, grab the back of his elbow, cup, pull his elbow forward so it's over his wrist, push down, lift my hip up. If we're doing this wrist lock here, I gotta see what his hands, if his hands are this way, it's gonna be easy to put it on, All right? And if he's got his elbow nice and flared out, that makes it nice and easy for me to reach in and lock this in the place. Because once I get his elbow over his wrist, it's a little harder for him to take his hand off. So he couldn't just in. slide it down right now? Nope, my hips locked it in. Oh. And I just give a little pull. But if you happen to have his hands turned out, and it's a little harder because now he can just actually just slide his hand off my hip. So hand position, I gotta just make sure his hands are where I want them. Right? Right. And of course, if he sees me reaching this, if he's smart, he's 
just going to let go. <laughs> so what is a key here uh, for a, a practitioner to be able to pull this off successfully? Are you trying to mask your intention yep. or are you just trying so, to do it really fast? No, I can, I can mask it. I can make like I'm reaching up for things. I'm trying to move my hips, see how he raised up. To, he's really trying to force my hips to the, to the mat. I can just sit here. So I can just grab one, make him think I'm trying to move his arm. And then, and then it's locked in. Wrist locks from side control. Uh, from the top. Uh, so Sensei will lay down on his back here for me. So. When you get side control, a lot of people will frame like this, but some people forget to put their hand up a little too high and they'll put it on your chest, right there. That's bad for him, great for me. So all I'm gonna do is take his elbow, lift it up, cup. I'm just gonna drive my weight forward as I push, pull his, push his elbow into me here. And that's, Locking the wrist, so I'm locking his wrist this way. So I'm putting pressure straight here. So he does that, grab the elbow here, lifts his fingers up, grab, drive in. Okay, so you are driving forward towards the camera. Yep. And one more time, which way are you driving his elbow? So here, so I'm just basing his elbow. So. I'm trying to push his elbow into me and then put my weight here. Oh, you're pushing his elbow toward, straight towards you. Yep. And just putting my weight on that wrist. Horrible, horrible wrist lock. So that's the end of the video. Please, please, please be careful with how you train the techniques I've just shared. And man, I highly recommend getting the full tutorial. Totally worth it. It costs way less than the price of one private lesson. And it costs about the same as a McDonald's lunch for two. And it contains a lifetime of knowledge and experimentation that will surely enrich your jujitsu game. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I really, really appreciate it. And until next time, my name is Gian. Peace.